John, you've got the Philly dancing in her dreams entered in the Devona Dale. Now, her last out was a second in a stakes here at Gulfstream Park, but it was at a shorter distance. Do you think the extra distance in the Devona Dale will be to her liking? Well, I would think so. The, the, the mile is, the farther she goes, the better she's going to be. I knew it was suspect at seven-eighths, but, you know, we, we've got a bigger goal, the Kentucky Oaks, in our mind, and, and you got to bring her up to it easy. She ran extremely well in the in the race, just ran out of racetrack getting up, and, you know, I was tickled to see, see how well she closed against a, a very solid pace. Did the filly come out of the race well? She came out of the race excellent. She's trained really well since then. And uh, the trick here with her is to, as we go through this process, is to keep putting more muscle on, put, put more weight on, and, and get her stronger to go the second turn. And how is she mentally right now? Mentally, she is uh, really good, but she's a t kind of a take charge filly. Uh, you you, you got to always change your training around because after she does it once or twice and the third time, she's going to go do it herself and show you she can do it. So, you know, it's it's constantly tricking her a little bit to, to keep her from overdoing it. But there's uh, there's nothing in her mind that says that she can't do it. She is one of those can-do horses, and so you got to sometimes protect her from herself. Well, thank you so much, John, and good luck in the Devona Dale. Thank you.